Okay, to screen telephone numbers against the TPS or the CTPS using the TPS checker website, very simple indeed. But there are a few features here that maybe some of you have overlooked, and I just want to point some of those out. So on the left here, I've got the TPS checker website. On the right, I have a spreadsheet of data. So if I just copy one of those numbers across here, checker number, you can select which register you want to uh, screen against just by ticking these boxes here. And in this case, I'm just going to pick the uh, TPS. So I click check, and you can see there that the number is registered on the TPS. Now, uh, I'll do another one. And it's not registered uh, on the TPS. Uh, check the same number, but I'll do it against both the TPS and CTPS this time, and you get two results. Okay, so that's quite straightforward. Let's do the check numbers. So I'm going to highlight here a bunch of numbers, paste them in. I'm just going to check these against the TPS for now. Click check, and you can see there that the first two are registered on the TPS and the rest are not. Now that's all well and good, but this is what I really want to show you. So for those businesses, uh, the smaller businesses, checking you know, maybe 50, 60 numbers a day, you might find this quite useful. So when I uh, copy my numbers uh, onto TPS Checker to screen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the numbers and I'm going to copy the results to the clipboard. Okay, Then from the clipboard, I'm going to paste them back into my spreadsheet. So I've copied my numbers across. Now, when we give you the results back, we give you uh, one column for the number, and we'll give you two extra columns for each register that you check against. So for the TPS, you'll get two. Uh, for the CTPS, you'll get two. So if you were checking both, you would get four. In addition to that, we then insert one marker column at the end. So for this example, I'm going to check against the TPS. So I'm going to get back a phone number column. I'm going to get back two columns for my results and one marker column. So basically, I'm going to insert three columns. There you go. So uh, in terms of checking the numbers, uh, this option for keep my number format is basically uh, when we give you the, the paste uh, results of the clipboard, the uh, numbers can either stay exactly as you give them to us, or we can try formatting them for you. Now, these numbers are not real. So uh, we won't recognize many of these numbers, for example. But if I uh, don't check that for now, We'll see how we check the numbers, which will make them a bit easier on the eye uh, for people when they're dialing. So I'll check the numbers. There we go. And I'll copy the results to the clipboard. Now, when we return the results to you, we also give you a header column. So if I move my cursor up to the top of the telephone column and then just go Control V, you will see that I've pasted in the numbers and two columns for the results, as well as the marker column. And there you go, you've got your results pasted straight in your spreadsheet. And here we have tried to format the numbers. Uh, as you can see, we don't recognize some of them. Now, if I did tick that box, uh, what would have happened is that I would have got the numbers back exactly as I put them in there. So what I'll do now is I'll redo those numbers to uh, prove a point, and I'll check the keep my original format. So over here, I will insert three columns. I'm going to copy the results to the clipboard and I'm going to paste them there. And as you can see, the numbers have stayed in exactly the same format as I submitted them. OK, so that might help some of you doing smaller amounts of telemarketing, working off spreadsheets. You know, you want to copy the results back and you can manually paste them into your spreadsheet. We do also have an Excel widget. We'll do a separate video for that, which is a plugin for Excel. But this works for those who um, you know, don't want to install software on their, on their computer. It is limited to 100 records at a time, though. So it really is aimed at much smaller businesses. So I hope you enjoy that function. Uh, I hope it helps some of you out, save a bit of time, maybe perhaps make the phone numbers a bit easier to read. All right, thank you.